Hello, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All my brothers and sisters, today I'm preaching the powerful gospel in crowd on cities and days. But uh, after a couple of weeks later, today I'm here in the city center to call it. I'm very, very happy to preach the gospel here today. Um, everybody, please say hi to the world. All the people are walking in the city center. Let them hear this powerful gospel. Praise the Lord. Yes, I can sing him one song right now. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name, for you are great. You do miracles so great. You don't break. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. Lord, you are great. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a full spirit. Oh, glory divine. Air of salvation. Purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, wash in His blood. This is my story, this is my soul, praising my Savior, oh Daddy Lord. This is my story, this is my soul, praising my Savior, old Daddy Lord, perfect summation, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my son. Angels descending, bring from above. A cause of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story. This is my soul, praising my Savior, old Daddy Lord. This is my story, this is my soul, praising my Savior. Oh, Daddy, Lord, praising my Savior. Oh, Lord, I lift your name on high. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Give to one somebody. Okay. Thank you. you are doing the street evangelists. You are helping at the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. I want to pray. One minute again to the people. Too much called here. Little bit called. Doesn't matter. So, I want to pray for this town right now. The city center. The people are walking here. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
I prefer everybody. The people are walking here. The people are here in this bed of God. Heavenly Father, I bless them and keep them in your glory. In Jesus' name. Thank you for you are raising up lots of revivalists from the city center to the neighbors. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So today, everybody, all the ladies and gentlemen, and brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. This is a good news. Today, I want to share to all of you. That is, Jesus Christ is still alive. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is the same God. Yesterday, today and forever. The purpose of birth of Jesus Christ in this world Gospel, not shouting. Okay. So, salvation means the people, those who are living under the point of the death, each and every people. You are getting a glorious life in Christ Jesus in the heaven. Can I pray for you? Can I pray for you? I can pray, can you? Any of the sick people are walking here. Any kind of sickness. Body pain. Neck pain. Back pain. Bone pain. Arthritis. HIV positive. And cancer. Any kind of sick people, most welcome. You are more than a welcome. Prayer is free. I don't want any single money from you. Prayer is free. Healing is free. 2022 years before, healing already happened in your body, in your mind. So everybody, each and every people, please hurry up and receive this powerful gospel in your life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So that hearing is one hundred percent free gift. Whichever God is granting to all the people that those who are believing in Him. This is the only one good news. Today, I want to share to all the people. Bible says, Manifestation of Jesus Christ in this world. Our God wants to hand over eternal life and eternal power, eternal glory to each one of you. This is the reason. 
Christ died at the cross for you and me. Lots of people are walking here in this town center. Can I pray for you? Can I pray for you? Any sick people here are most welcome. I will call everybody. If you are interested, you are most welcome. You can come forward. I can pray for you. If not, no problem. So today, I would like to, I want to share a powerful good news to everybody. That each and every people, you will get a hope in Christ Jesus, the hope of eternal life. The hope of the forgiveness of your sin. In the Bible, everything is free. Gift of healing. Gift of deliverance. God bless you. You want to take it? Come on in. Come on, come on in. God bless you. God bless you. You want to pray for me? Any sickness, I can pray for you. Thank you. But you want any sickness, I can pray for you. I'm the pastor. Any sickness, I can pray for you. Do you have any sickness? Okay. Come forward, I can pray for you. I can pray. What's your name? Heavenly Father, I lay my hand on head. Heavenly Father, I prefer to you right now. As a pastor, this is your authority which you gave to me to pray for all the sick people according to Matthew 28, verse 18. Lay the hand on the people and receive them, them. Receive the healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for this blessed sister right now. She is your child. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for sister right now. The spiritually and physically, all the areas of life, Shita Takaladi, are declared the healthy body, the spiritual blessings, and all the areas of life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So today, everybody, any kind of sick people, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Any kind of sick people, any sickness come forward, I can pray for you. Okay. In between, this is a church service. I will call each and every people, each one of them. Those who are working here, come on. Take it, take it. So, when I am calling, any of the people are suffering sickness, body pain, neck pain, back pain, bone pain, arthritis, HIV positive and cancer, tumor, whatever, whatever. Only one solution, all in one solution, that is Jesus Christ. Come on, right? All in one solution, <laughs> that is Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is why today, I want to share this powerful gospel, powerful message to each one of you, that in Jesus Christ, there is a healing. In Jesus Christ, there is a deliverance. In Jesus Christ, there is eternal life. God bless you. In Jesus Christ, there is a healing and deliverance. In Jesus Christ, there is a forgiveness of your sin. And whatever, whatever you want, you will get it. Come on. So today, I want to share this powerful gospel that Jesus, the death of Jesus Christ himself. It was not at all happened accidentally in this world. The death of Jesus Christ, it was happened in this world because all the prophets in the Old Testament, Prophet Isaiah, Prophet Jeremiah and Book of Psalms. Come on. It is well written in the Bible about the manifestation and the ministry of Jesus Christ. After that, the crucifixion, the resurrection, followed by the salvation of Jesus Christ towards everybody. It was already well written in the Bible. 
Today, I am preaching this powerful gospel to each one of you. That in the name of Jesus Christ, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know what you, who you are. God knows you. Okay. God bless you. You want to pray one minute? You want to come pray for you one minute? God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. So today, this is what today, I want to share to each one of you. The manifestation of Jesus Christ is a showing a sign to everybody, a direct salvation in Jesus Christ, in the heaven, in the heaven. So today, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, I want to share one more thing to each one of you. Come on, come on, come on. I can pray. Everybody, come. I can pray. Can I pray for you? Can I pray for you, child? God bless you. Thank you. At least you are taking the bed up. God bless you. Okay. Read that one. You are getting salvation. Salvation is free. So today, I want to share a powerful word of God to everybody. Bible says, the Father in the heaven, our heavenly Father, He so loved the world. Because of this reason, the 800 cross people are living in this world. Our God is sent, only is sent to the world that each and every people, you should get eternal life. Each and every people, you should not get lose your life. But you want to get eternal life in Christ Jesus. So, all the ladies and gentlemen. and sisters in Christ Jesus. If Bible is saying to each one of you, I pray you. are healed. Come on. By the stripes of Jesus Christ. Okay. That is absolutely correct. What it is written in the Bible? Each and every Bible word which is written in the Bible that is absolutely correct. Jesus Christ is not a prophet. Jesus Christ is a Savior. Jesus Christ is a living God. The cross for you and me. After that, all the people you have received the salvation by your faith in God. I am preaching the mystery of Jesus Christ in front of everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that everybody. Come here, come here. Come on, come on. Come on. Take it, take I'm calling you. This is what Gospel George said. When he was preaching the Gospel. He was saying. What I have seen in my eyes, what I could hear in my ear, what I could ever to touch in my hand,
Come on, come on, come on. This is what today I want to share. I got in Gospel Book of John, chapter 1. Bible says, Apostle John said, Prayer request. We have a prayer request. Holy Father, Brother William. Brother William was here in this word of God. Book of Acts, chapter 14, Apostle Paul, when he was preaching gospel, one of the person could he was hearing the word of God. Because of this reason, that person received the healing. I pray for this blessed uh, brother right now, Brother William. Heavenly Father, I don't know what brother needs, but you know everything. Heavenly Father, bless his brother spiritually and physically. Financially, all dear is Father. I bless his brother, all the family. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for your response. Response is very important. So today, I want to share this powerful gospel to everybody. In Jesus Christ, there is no darkness at all. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Whether today or tomorrow, God bless you. God bless you. Because of you are hearing this word of God today. Because of this reason, one day our God will give you an ability, a power to come to know what He is in your life. So today, I want to deliver this powerful word of God to everybody. In Jesus Christ, there is no sin at all. Jesus Christ is the Holy Lord. Holiness is the nature of our Lord. Come here. I can pray for a child and the pastor. Come everybody. 
Come, 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 come. Please come. I can pray for a child. The pastor. Come. What's your, what's your prayer request? What's your, what's your prayer request? Sila. What is your prayer request? Pray for you, okay, no problem. Okay, pray. I'm going to pray. Okay, Heavenly Father, I pray for Sister Sheila right now. I pray for the child right now. I pray for everybody right now. Those are standing here. I bless her spiritually and physically all the areas of life. Shita takha ladi lagana. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Keep it with you, everyone. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Area. Jesus Christ bless you. Okay. Nothing to worry anything about your life. Our God is taking control of your life. Do you believe that? Do you believe? Our God can take control of your life. Praise the Lord. I'm not joking, all the friends. So today, this is what today, I want to share to each one of you. Today, when I'm preaching this gospel, if you are taking this gospel message as it yours, According to the Bible, you can bear much fruits in your life. Fruit that means it is not the fruit that what you are eating from the shop. The fruit that means the spiritual power, spiritual anointing, spiritual gifts, the healing power, everything in your country. Praise the Lord. So today, according to the Bible, Bible says, those who are in Christ Jesus, you are the new creation. You are created newly for Christ Jesus. If Bible says, he saying, you are the new creation. That means your old thing, your past life, your old the wicked ways, by default, our God will take away from you. This is a good news today. I am sharing to all the people. Does it matter how big is your sin? Doesn't matter what is your background. Doesn't matter what is your circumstances. Our God doesn't have any of the partiality towards everyone. Anyone. Bible says, Who are calling upon in his name? You are getting the salvation in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. That is what Bible said. As soon as received that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. Our God has given a right, a power to become a children of God. God come on in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Calling is my duty, brother. If you want, you can come. No problem. Always. Calling is my duty. Okay. So today, this is a powerful gospel. I want to spread to each one of you. This gospel is a living God. In Jesus Christ, everything, what all the things which you have lost in Christ Jesus, you will get it. So, each and every people, I want to say to all the people, Bible says, Gospel John chapter 15, Bible says, I am the true wine, praise the Lord, and my father is a gardener. He cuts of every branch in me that bears no fruits, praise the Lord. Bible says, Jesus Christ is saying, Towards everybody, I am the true wine, and my father is a gardener. 
He cuts off every branch. In that bears no fruit. Why? Branch that does bear fruits. Bible says. Why? Every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. Bible says about the spiritual life. Bible says about your life. The day, the time, the moment when you are believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, then what is going to happen in your life? This is what Bible says. If you are rooted in Christ Jesus, each and every people, according to the Bible, you have nothing to worry anything about your situation. You have nothing to worry anything about your circumstances. You have nothing to worry anything about the things which are coming against your life. Bible says, if you are in Christ Jesus, you are rooted, you are planted in Christ Jesus. If you are planted in Christ Jesus, I got the Bible. I want to share to each one of you the good news. That means you can bear more fruits, spiritually, physically, and financially. One more good news I want to share to each one of you. The people are working here. The good news is what are you banging on about? Jesus. The good news is the Jesus. That is, the people are broken hearted. The people are rejected people in the society. The people which they have lost something in their life. Our God has died for you at the cross. The death of Jesus Christ is it? Granting to each one of you a powerful life story in your life. In the Bible, I want to share a testimony I got the Bible towards everybody. The testimony of the blind person. Gospel Matthew chapter 9. When Jesus Christ was preaching the gospel in the society. When Jesus Christ was preaching the gospel in the village. And no all the time counts. The nature of Jesus Christ is a merciful God. The nature of Jesus Christ is He is a loving kindness. The nature of Jesus Christ that Jesus Christ can provide the salvation to each one of you. Even if Jesus Christ was very, very busy person when He was preaching the gospel in the public speech, that time what happened? In between, the blind person, he was calling upon the name of Jesus Christ. No, the son of David, have mercy on me. As I said before, the nature of Jesus Christ is the loving kind. If anybody is calling in the name of Jesus Christ to get something, in your life, according to the Bible, Jesus Christ will stand there. Our God will listen. After that, our God will be able to provide your prayer answer. So today, I want to share to each one of you, maybe you are broken hearted. Maybe you have lost something in your life. 
Maybe you are the rejected person from the society. Maybe you are the neglected person from this world. This is a good news today. I want to share to each one of you that in Jesus Christ there is no darkness at all. Because Jesus Christ is a richest God. Because of this reason he can pour his anointing from the heaven to each one of you in the forms of healing, in the forms of deliverance, in the forms of your curse breaking, in the forms of everything, whatever you have lost, you are getting in Christ's coming. Jesus Christ was asking to that blind person, what I want to do for you today. Praise the Lord. So today, I want to share a good news to everybody. If Jesus Christ wants to do anything in your life, the will of God is that you should believe that this God can do something in your life today. That is what Jesus Christ was asking to the blind person. What I want to do for you. That blind person was asking to Jesus Christ. I cannot see anything. I'm the blind person. Bible says the day, the time, the moment. What that blind person was saying to Jesus Christ. The same time, Jesus Christ was giving the answer to that blind person. Let your eyes be open. The same time, come here. Come on, come on. The blind person's eyes got open. Can I pray for you? I can pray for you. Any prayer, any sickness, I can pray. I'm the pastor. Come here. I can pray for you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. So today, this is a good news. Our God is looking at you for you today in future. If our God wants to do anything in your life today, It will happen by the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. So, all the ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Gospel Joe, chapter 15, verse 4, Bible says, Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the void. Neither 
Can you bear fruit unless you remain in me? Praise the Lord. Again, Bible says, wait this fine. Bible says, I am the way and you are the branches. Can I pray for you? In the seconds, I can pray for you. Come here. Yeah, in the seconds, I can pray for you. I'm the fast. Yeah, in the seconds. Come here. In the sickness, I can pray for you. In the sickness, I am the pastor. In the sickness. What's your name? Nelly. Now I pray for you. Okay. Heavenly Father, as a pastor, I pray for this Sister Nelly right now. I don't know Sister Nelly, but you know you are the God. I don't know what is Sister Sickness, but you know that. There it is. Heavenly Father, I pray for everything. In the name of Jesus, according to Psalm chapter 37, you will grant all her desire. In Jesus' name, Amen. Heavenly Father, bless and sister right now. Amen. According to Matthew 28, verse 18, pray for the sick people and you will heal. Yes. You will provide everything. Yes. In the name of yes. Jesus Christ, according to Matthew chapter 18, 18, whatever I am binding on this earth, whatever I am losing on this earth, it will be lost. In Jesus' name, a blessed sister, In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. So shall it be. Are you born again? Are you born again? Yes. God bless you. So today, I want to share one more good news to everybody. Bible says, the good news is, if you are the born again person, Jesus can said, I am your shepherd. I am the wine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, and me, if you remain in me, and I in you. This is a divine secret. Praise the Lord. This is a divine, divine secret. How the God can remain in you? How the God of this world can come and sit in your heart? spiritual transformation which is happening in your mind in your heart when you are believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior so that I want to share a powerful word of God to everybody if you are the child of God that time the day onwards, yet their heaven will take care of your life. Does it matter? No, this is your problem. Does it matter? What is your background? Bible says, if you are in Christ Jesus, there is no condemnation those who are in Christ Jesus. Who we can be in Christ Jesus? By believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. That time, Bible says, a spiritual transformation is happening in your life. What is the spiritual transformation? You all are Becoming the child of God. Children of God. If you are the children of God, you are hired to receive all the blessings which our God has given to Abraham and Jacob and David. All the blessings you are getting through Jesus Christ and by Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ in your life. This is a divine mystery. I am preaching to all the people. Praise the Lord. Again, Bible says, I am the wine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. This is another mystery I want to share to each one of you. 
Most of the people are living and thinking in your mind. Maybe financially you are good son. Maybe today you have a good healthy body. Whatever you you know that one. In the Bible, Bible says, without Jesus Christ, we cannot do anything. With Jesus Christ, only we can bear the mighty fruits, the fruits of blessings, eternal life, the salvation and forgiveness of your sin, and so on. Lots and lots of things. Praise the Lord. Bible says,
the world people are thinking how it will happen but jesus christ was multiplied for the 5000 men from five house and two fish lots of foods to eat that 5000 men the multiplication happened in the time all the people the 5000 men they could eat as much they need how to happen like that big was jesus christ was having the compassion toward the people jesus christ was having the compassion toward the people
I'm sharing this powerful word of God to everybody. Praise the Lord. All the brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. I got the Bible. I want to share a powerful testimony to everybody. What is the testimony? What is the testimony? 2013. I born again and baptized. No, no. I myself can be know. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. In the year of 2030, I was a broken hearted, rejected person. But today, I want to say one good news to everyone. I have got a joyful heart in Christ Jesus. How did it happen like that? Eternal joy is the nature of our God. The world, the people of you. The will of God is. The promise of God is. I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is the promise which our God is granting to each one of you. Praise the Lord. So today, the people are living today under the darkness of the world. The people are living here today. The people are hopeless people. The people are rejected people. That you are not at all having any other hope in your life. This is the good news today. I want to share to each one of you. In Jesus Christ, there is only one solution in your life. Whether you are accepting or not, doesn't matter. Jesus Christ also. This is the reality. People are in crowded on city centre. This is a good news, not a bad news. In the midst of this pandemic situation, you all are still alive because our God is granted for you a beautiful life. Our God is extended for you a beautiful life in you. Your beloved one, your loved one, even if they are no more in this world, but you and me are still living in this world by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. So today, all the ladies and gentlemen, this is the time, extended time, our God is given to you today. Come back to the Lord and enjoy your rest of Christian life. The will of God is, I will never leave you nor forsake you. The word of God cannot be changed. So all the children of Croydon, London, this is the good news, good news of God. I will never leave you, nor forsake you. This is the word of God. If you are having worries, disturbed, depressions, any of the things if you are facing in your life today, only one solution I want to introduce. Only one name, that is Jesus Christ's name, can get you a 100% solution in your life. All the people are walking here. Before I close this session, I will sing one song. After that, I will close this session. But only one thing, come back to the Lord and receive your Eternal life, come on. Come on. You want to pray one minute? You want to pray? I'm the pastor. You want to pray? Any seconds I can pray for you. I'm the pastor. You want me to pray? Thank you. Are you attending church on Sunday? Are you attending? 
This is my phone number, okay? You give a test message, it's my phone number, okay? Just yeah. down, okay? Is this like, on this one? Just down, can I test you? If you like, um, you can, if you want, you can leave your number, I can test you. If you want, I'll no, pass okay. it. You give a test message, okay? That's one. Thank give a, you give a test message number, I can test your address. Thank okay. you. God bless you, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. So today, before I end the session, I want to share this powerful word of God to everybody. In Jesus Christ, there is a victory in your life. In Jesus Christ, you will be a victorious person in your life. I want to sing one song. After that, I want to close this session. You are rich in love and you are slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind for all your goodness I will keep on singing ten thousand reasons for my heart to find bless the Lord oh my soul oh my soul and worship his holy name Sing like never before, oh my soul, and worship your holy name. You're rich in love, and you're slow to anger. Your name is great, and your heart is kind for all your Goodness, I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, my soul. And worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, and worship your holy name, and worship your holy name. And from one night, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them, especially the people are watching him, the people are hearing this word of God. Heavenly Father, I bless you, Father, give them your glory, spiritually and physically, all the years of their life. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you for the people, those who came here for the prayer. Thank you for your touching their body, their mind, and their heart as well. Heavenly Father, thank you for the people, those who are standing against me in the street. I bless them, Father. Thank you for your using them in the future, in an extraordinary way in this life. For your kingdom. Heavenly Father, once again more, I pray for the people. Those who are here in this word of God, Thank you for your raising up a powerful, a mighty evangelist from the city center of Croydon and London as well. In Jesus' name. I pray for me and all our team members. In Jesus' name. And also bless the people who are watching online, spiritually and physically, all their rest of their life. Spiritually blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Okay. Jesus Christ is the greatest God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> what we're preaching today, I really, I myself really enjoyed my street preaching. Thank you very much. People are watching. God bless you. Jesus Christ is a powerful Lord. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you.